So yeah, I've been going on a lot of dates recently, which really suck. They are not fun, except it must be amazing to be a girl on a date, man. It must be one of the best things you can do with your time. Like, hey, what are you up to tonight? Oh, me? Well, I'm gonna go get shit for free. And if I wanna fuck, I can. Peace! Like, it must be awesome. So awesome to be a girl on a date, man. Like writing a test with all the answers. Just the easiest thing. And I know that I'm one of the whitest human beings you will ever see in your life, okay? Like, as I've stood up here, I get burnt by these goddamn lights, okay? This sucks, but I am done dating white girls. Don't want to do it anymore, okay? Here's the reason. It's because I know that white girls look good, okay? Nathan knows, but white girls do not know that they look good, okay? Take the hottest white girl in the world every day of her life. She's gonna get up and look in the mirror and be like, uh. <laughs> My hair is so stupid and look at this fat right hand. I can't leave the house with this fat hand, but my nostrils are too oval and one of my eyes is bigger than the other. You're fucking winking right now, of course. I dated one black girl in my life, okay? And I swear to God, if I could trade my mom for two more, my mom's gone, okay? Gone. I don't know where she'd go, I don't care. I would give my mom to Somalian pirates, all right? For two black girls, man. Because like I said, I dated one and she had the most confidence out of anyone I've ever met, man. Like one day she asked me how she looked and when I started to give my opinion, she was like, your opinion can suck my dick. <laughs> but that is amazing. You asked me how you looked and then you told me to blow you. That doesn't mean <laughs> most confidence ever. And then every white girl I've ever dated, where? How does my leg even bend with this thing? Plus they're too low in my leg, I've got too much thigh, and not enough calf. Da -da -da -da. I hate going to clubs, man, because for one, I hate when you walk in and you hear the DJ go, all right, all the sexy people in here, make some noise. And the ugliest looking trolls, man. <laughs> Looks like some of these people crawled out from under a bridge, check their coat and hooves, and then hit the dance floor. And I also can't stand them because there's always just a group of guys standing on the wall doing nothing. It's like, what are you doing right now? Are you waiting for a girl to pass out so you can swarm her? Is that what this is? Like, yo, dude, that girl's about to fall down. I got her, I got her. <laughs> so ridiculous, man. Like, the place is called a dance club. It has dance in the title, okay? Like, I don't think you would go to a movie theater and buy a ticket and then hang out in the lobby, man. <laughs> And plus, I really, it, it amazes me how like offended some girls get at clubs when they get hit on. They just get so angry. They're like, listen, sir. They call you sir, that happens. <laughs> sir, I do not want to get hit on, okay? I am just here to hang out with my friends and dance, okay? And it's like, that's awesome. If you just want to hang out with your friends, fine. But if you do not want to get hit on, the club, probably the worst place to try to hide from guys, okay? Because guys will hit on you at the library, you know? Guys will hit on you while you're putting mail in the box. Just drive by and be like, nice maneuver, what the fuck? We do that, but the club, pretty much, that's what we're going to do. Say some horrible things to girls, okay? So I don't understand how a girl goes to a club and acts like she wasn't at least, at least expecting to get hit on, you know? That'd be like me, not expecting to get shot. If I was to walk into the woods during hunting season, dressed like a deer. <laughs> and then when I do get shot, I turn around and go, what the hell is your problem, man? God, I just came here to dance. <laughs> I also just think it's funny that girls can actually just turn down a guy at a club and be like, no, I don't want to get hit on tonight. Because girls can just get sex whenever they want. Whenever, just walk into the bank and be like, I want to have sex, me too, gone. <laughs> That is all that has to happen, you know? But when guys wanna have sex, it's a little bit different, okay? We, ha we actually have to achieve some shit before we even make the attempt, you know? Like we gotta go to school or get a job 
or have a nationally televised comedy special. <laughs> Well, things we have to do, you know? Like, a guy can't drop out of school and go up to a girl with that resume, you know? Can't do that. But if a girl drops out of school and goes up to a guy and is like, hey, I dropped out of school. He's like, oh, really? Well, I guess you got a lot more time in your hands to fuck. <laughs> then don't you, because we don't care, okay? Think of it this way. A homeless man is not having sex, okay? Not at all. Way too many obstacles, okay? A homeless woman has a pretty good chance sometimes, okay? <laughs> Because even if one came in here right now and was like, hey, any of you guys want to have sex? Everyone would be like, no, that's disgusting. But then as soon as she leaves, somebody's like, I gotta go have a smoke. 